Hello everybody and welcome. Today I want to share with you how I make a low prep broccoli soup. This is very easy to make. If you come home from work or being out all day, you're too tired to cook something substantial. This is very easy. This and garlic bread. Oh, delicious. So let's go through the ingredients. I'm using frozen broccoli. Okay, sometimes when I do this soup, there, I use a combination of broccoli and cauliflower. You know, essentially you can use any frozen vegetable that suits you. Olive oil. And of course, home canned chicken stock. You don't have to have home canned chicken stock to do this. Okay, you can use a bouillon cube. You can use powder. You can use whatever you wish. A container of chicken stock that you purchase in the store. Very easy. Now, I'm using Parmesan cheese. Now, I'm showing you the Parmesan cheese in the position that I place it in my refrigerator. What I find is when I store my Parmesan cheese in the refrigerator like this, it doesn't clump. If I store it like this, it clumps really badly. <laughs> anyway, that's just, you know, a suggestion. I have one half a large white onion and I have some roughly chopped garlic. Now, you could use garlic powder or garlic that's been granulated. You can use onion flakes. This can be totally from your shelf. Okay, you don't have to use anything fresh in this recipe. Now, I specifically haven't shown you the seasonings. I just want to show you how simple this is without too many things on the counter. I'm going to take off the lid of my Dutch oven. I'm going to place in the onion and the garlic. There. Just a bit of olive oil. You could use butter if you wish. Now I wanted to make a suggestion. If you want to keep this dairy free, adding some beans in might, you know, give it additional texture. I'm not adding beans tonight. This is plain and simple and very basic. So I'm just gonna saute the garlic and the onion. I'm now going to put in some broccoli. I'm not putting in the whole bag. I think that's enough. Let's open up the chicken broth. I pressure canned this chicken broth in October 2021. Now, before I open up broth, I usually give it a shake. There we go. I'm now going to pour this into the Dutch oven. Okay, I just poured it into the Dutch oven, but the camera wasn't on. <laughs> anyway. Let's get some seasonings in here. I think I'll add some garlic plus. A bit of pepper. And just a bit of salt. If we need more salt, we'll add it later. I'm going to stir this up and get the lid on. We're going to let this come to a boil and then simmer for a little while. I'm now going to make some garlic bread and I'll show you how I do that. I've chopped garlic, I've added butter, and I like to put smoked paprika in with it. Okay, it's salted butter so I don't need to add any salt. I'm just going to take the mini croissants and slice them in half and place them in the glass dish behind there.
out in the Parmesan cheese. It's about three quarters a cup. Use your own judgment. I'm now gonna blend the soup. I'm gonna serve myself some of the soup now. I've turned off the heat. I'm now gonna give my soup and the garlic bread a taste. The soup is perfect, absolutely perfect. It doesn't need any more salt because of course I put a little bit of salt and there would have been salt in the Parmesan. Let's taste some garlic bread. Absolutely delicious. Now the garlic bread was a bit of an extra thing in the video. The main point is you can get a soup together very, very quickly using ingredients in your pantry. I hope you give this a try. Please like this video, consider subscribing to my channel, and I thank you for watching.